Hey there everybody, I'm Matt Rezac and thanks for joining me today. I'm going to show you how I cut into a brand new leather hide so that I have a nice clean straight line going the lengthwise uh, in that new hide. And because if you're trying to cut straps, this only works once you have that straight edge already established. This isn't going to create a straight line for you. So you have to do that by hand. And for that reason, this is sort of an advanced technique. We do need some extra materials that you're not going to have just laying around. And you do need a, a specific work table. You need to have this set up and be able to, to cut a nice size piece of material. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. Uh, let's look at the table first. The table has on this, on the very edge here, it has a, a one foot, they're one foot by two foot pieces of like a rubber plating. Uh, and this stuff is sort of expensive to get, but uh, it's well worth it. This is gonna protect your razor, but more importantly, it protects the table. Because if your table starts getting uh, cut, you know, if it starts getting gouged, uh, away then then the leather sits funny on the table so you have to have some protection on your table for the razor blade that you're going to be running in the same place over and over so this stuff here i've got glued down it's caulked down and it goes from from here all the way to the other end of the table which is about seven and a half feet long plenty long it's a particle board top three quarter thick i actually sort of retrofitted an existing table uh, by just adding this extra particle board on top of it that's screwed down and this also gave me the ability to to extend it out so that I can use my clamps because we got to clamp this down with uh, a piece of aluminum more about that here in just a moment but we're going to use these clamps I've got two different types of clamps I've got my main clamps and then I have sort of my secondary clamps that I use so yeah this is sort of a big setup it's kind of fun. This is really where um, good leather work starts, being able to get this nice clean edge. So if you're making straps and you want those straps to look nice, uh, it all starts there with a nice clean first edge. And then of course there's a, a technique to running this, but we'll talk about that some other time. So let's go ahead and get started on the cutting. I first examine the underside or flesh side of the hide to determine from which edge I want to cut. It is always best to cut from the back region instead of the belly. Belly leather has nappy flesh, whereas back leather has generally smooth flesh. Now finding clamp marks can also help distinguish back from belly. The tannery will usually hang the hide by its back during the tanning process. I trim off any end pieces that I can't use, and this also helps to fit it onto my table. It's important to find a thick, straight piece of aluminum to use as an edge guide. This piece isn't something you can get at a hardware store or leather shop. You'll have to acquire this from a steel distributor in your area, and they will sell items such as diamond plating, beams, and precast aluminum strips like this. Most of them will even cut it for you too. I purchased this in a 12 foot length and had them trim off four feet. This also cost about $16. Now clamp down your aluminum over the leather where it looks best and is as close to the original edge as possible to reduce wasting leather. During the first pass, I go very lightly, keeping my razor tight against the aluminum, but I'm not pushing down hard into the leather. I'm more or less scoring the leather on this first pass. Pay close attention to my movement. Notice that even when my body shifts back to regain my footing, my hand stays unmoved and thus able to resume the cut. I consider this a moment of focus, so make sure that you're free of distractions in the room. The leather shown here is seven ounce weight, so if you're working with a two or four ounce leather, you probably won't need to do more than one or two passes, but you'll still need to keep your hand steady when you shift backwards. And remember, always use a new blade for this task. With leather in general, you should be accustomed to the way a fresh blade cuts. Now after a couple light passes, I begin to take shorter strokes and apply slightly more pressure to the blade. I can begin to feel that the uh, blade is cutting only into the rubber plating and has passed through the leather. Thank you. 
and as you can see the cut is very clean and straight I credit this to the thicker aluminum now I can cut straps and so can you that's it thanks for watching